Now, why on earth would one trim such a humble, gentle looking chicken's beak? It's so cruel, so insensitive, so merciless. Of course I know, so it seems. And guys, my birds have already been debaked. Trimming the beaks of a chicken is called debaking, yeah? So my birds have already been debaked and I know it might seem ruthless and merciless and very, I don't know. But we usually do this for the good of the birds. Of course, not all birds are to be trimmed or debaked. But today I'm going to explain to you guys why it's necessary to trim or debake the birds. So please stick around. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Daniel, a practicing medical doctor, very interested in poultry farming. And in case this is your very first time on the channel, on this channel I talk about poultry farming in all the different ways. You know, what we want to do is to help you to farm better. Get money from the, your poultry farm or get inspired to start one and other kinds of farming. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please smash that subscribe button. That way you never miss out on an upload. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you never miss out on an upload. So what on earth is debaking? Well, debaking is the act of cutting the lips of the chicken. I call it lips simply so that people understand, but really they are called beaks, yeah? So I don't know if you guys can see, this chicken has a beak and the beak has been cut. So usually when we are debaking, the debaking is done at different times and there are very many different ways of debaking. But what happens is that the beak is cut and what happens in the end is that the lower beak usually grows longer and the upper beak is usually shorter. So debaking can be done at different times you know it can be done as day old birds it can be done between five and ten days and then it could also be done between 10 and 12 weeks so my previous lot of birds i debaked my birds at around 12 weeks and then this lot of birds i know some of you actually noticed that the, the birds had been debaked and you had been telling me Dr. Daniel, you debaked the birds without showing us, you know, you're so mean, you didn't tell us that you're going to debake the birds. Guys, I didn't debake the birds, the birds actually came debaked. So what happens is that there are different ways of debaking the birds. These ones were debaked using an infrared method of debaking the birds. What happens with these infrared methods is that the birds are debaked as day old birds in the hatchery. When they're doing the sexing, you know, to, to make sure that they're giving you only females, and then the vaccination in the hatchery, like the Merex vaccine, they do also debake the birds. So they use an infrared laser to debake the birds, you know. So they cut off at a particular level, but the beak never comes off really on the first day. So the beak will fall off after around two weeks, usually, you know, 14 days or up to 21 days, dep depending on the kind of bird and which exact kind of infrared were used. So mine fell off at around 14 days, the beaks fell off. They fall off on their own because the beak that has been cut off um, now has no blood supply, it doesn't have anything supplying it, so it will just die off and fall off. So that's how my birds were debaked. So unfortunately, I never got the chance to show you guys how the birds were debaked. Then the other method of debaking is using a red hot iron, you know, a red hot material to cut off the beak. That is usually done for older birds, but it's not very recommended because, you know, it's more painful and, you know, the chances of making a mistake and injuring the bird are higher. But that's also another method, you know, you use a red hot material to cut off the beak of the bird. So why on earth are birds debaked? Why would birds be debaked? I'll start with one that I've witnessed myself for my previous lot of birds. Like I told you guys, I debaked my birds at around 12 weeks. These birds are fast approaching nine weeks, and if they hadn't been debaked, that vice would have already popped in in these birds, and that's called feather pecking, yeah? So one thing I noticed is that birds, I think these feathers, you see, the lower feathers of the birds, these feathers at the back of the birds, I think they're tasty for the birds. They love them, I don't know why, yeah? So um, if we hadn't debaked these birds, they would have already start, started to peck themselves. So what happens is that you'll just see a bird coming from the behind of the other and picking out the feather trying to feed on it and that's not a really good thing because it starts off the vice 
So you'll notice that some of the birds are irritated. You'll just be down outside the chicken house and then you hear the birds crying out of pain. Why? Because the other birds are pecking them. So it's a vice that starts off when the birds are still very young and you want to avoid it because it could lead to very horrific and terrible uh, repercussions. So feather pecking is one of the things that happens. The other one that feather pecking leads to is vent pecking. Vent pecking is when the birds have been faked and you know the feathers have all been removed is what's going to happen is the birds are now the vent is going to be exposed yeah the vent of the birds is going to be exposed and then the birds are going to peck the other birds vent it also happens in birds that are laying yeah because the birds that are laying the vent is more open and more exposed the other birds will come and peck the vent of that bird and that will lead to bleeding and with bleeding it stimulates more pecking okay and what that does that lead to cannibalism the birds start eating each other yeah it's not that there is no food i think meat tastes better generally for most people meat tastes better than i don't know than this commercial feed and anything so the birds are going to start developing what we call cannibalism looks like the bird wants to go so i let her go okay so it will lead to cannibalism so this is the whole cascade feather pecking, vent pecking, and cannibalism. So we do this to avoid these vices developing. Now, another advantage that comes with the beaking of the birds is that there is reduced feed wastage. Like I showed you guys, by the way, if you have noticed, the bird has climbed on my back. It just climbed on my back while I was trying to clear up the camera. <laughs> this is so interesting. Anyway, um, reduced feed wastage. I'll just let her enjoy. It's okay, isn't it? Yeah. So reduced feed wastage. Like I told you guys, what happens is that as the birds grow up, you'll have the lower beak growing longer and the upper beak growing shorter. And what that does is that there is reduced feed wastage as the birds start feeding on the commercial feed. Yeah, There is reduced feed wastage and then because with the normal birds, as the beak is pointed and small and you know, pointed towards the beak, it's really adapted towards scratching and feed, getting feed from, you know, from down, from the ground. But here in a commercial based system, the feed is not in the ground. It is in feeders. So it's not necessary for the birds to, you know, go scratching and pick the feed from the ground. So it reduces the feed wastage in that you don't have lots of feed pouring around. Yeah. If you don't trim the beaks of the birds, lots of feed is going to pour around and you don't want that to happen. The other thing is that it stimulates a positive attitude within the birds. I'll just show you guys, yeah? What happens is that if the bird is constantly being pecked, you know, they are pecking its feathers, they are pecking its vent, you know, trying to bite each other. What happens is that these birds just generally want to create a pecking order. These birds you see over here have a pecking order. They know who is boss in here and who is lower. It takes some time to develop. But what happens is that if there is, the birds have beaks, they are more aggressive. They are generally more aggressive towards each other. The birds start to fear each other because they are thinking they are going to be pecked. They start running up, climbing up onto the patches and all that kind of stuff. And it creates a stressful environment for the birds. Very, very stressful. But if you debeak the birds, you're going to have less of such behaviors. And the birds are generally going to be more friendly. You know, they move around easier. They don't fear each other. They are not thinking, oh, my friend is going to peck me if I go close to them. So the environment is generally a happier environment. And that's what you want for the birds. Because if that happens, you're going to have, you know, better production inside the chicken house. Then the other thing that's going to happen, and this is for when the birds have grown up, is that you're going to have less egg breaking, which is increased productivity. Whilst the birds still have their beaks, you know, uh, pointed and everything, they are more likely to break the eggs. When the bird lays an egg, it will try, you know, hitting its beak on it. It's just out of curiosity. The birds are thinking, what on earth is this, you know? It's their egg, but they are probably trying to understand what is this. So they will try pecking on the eggs. Pecking, pecking. And if the egg cracks, guys, if your egg cracks, that's the end of the egg. The birds are going to eat it. And if they notice that this thing is sweet, it's tasty, oh my God. They're going to try pecking and cracking every egg that comes out of them. So it's something that you want to avoid right from the beginning, yeah? So if you have your birds debeaked, you're going to have less and less birds breaking their eggs and you're going to have an increased productivity. 
Now, what are the negatives of debicking these birds? Of course, <laughs> it's not like perfect. And before we get there, actually, you don't need to debeak all your birds. For example, birds on free range shouldn't be debeaked. It's not necessary because they have lots of space, you know, to run around. They have lots of space to escape each other. These um, behaviors are less likely to happen. Even, you know, breaking the, the eggs to eat them is less likely to happen in free range birds because they are outside most of the time. Once it lays its egg, it's just going to move out. It wants to go out. It wants to go and feed from the outside. So it's more likely to move out. So birds that are on free range should never be debeaked. But there are negatives, even for, you know, birds that are kept, kept on an intensive system. Number one, it's stressful for the birds, you know. It's painful. I do know that it's painful because the beak has nerve endings. Oh, I don't know what's happening. But the beaks have nerve endings, guys. The beaks have nerve endings and every time you debeak, it's painful for the birds. The other thing is that I've seen people who debeak poorly and with debeaking poorly, you could lead to bleeding, you know. It leads to bleeding. If you don't debeak well, because like I've said, the beaks also have blood vessels. So it leads to bleeding and some of the birds become anemic. I've seen some people giving the birds vitamin K uh, before they debeak because vitamin K decreases the bleeding. You don't want your birds to bleed out when you're debeaking. The other thing is that in case the beaks grow back, if the debeaking is not done well, the beaks could grow back. And if the beaks grow back, you're going to have to debeak the birds again. And that's again more stress and pain for the birds. If the debeaking is done so poorly, it could even lead to impaired functionality of the beak. You know, if the beak is chopped so bad, the bird won't be able to use it to feed and all that kind of stuff. So it is really stressful and not nice. But yeah, that's it guys. That's why I debeak the birds. My birds have been debeaked and unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to show you guys that because I wasn't around when it was happening. My previous plot, I was around when the birds were being debeaked because we, we debeaked them on the farm. They didn't come debeaked, but for this, they have been debeaked from the farm. So, it's a necessary evil, guys. It's a necessary evil, and it's something that we have to do to avoid some of these vices. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. In case you have any query, any question, anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. See you with another upload in the next video. Lots of love. Bye-bye.